in early this nice round. Probably about three pounds. Okay, there it's up. Oh my god. Salmon. Definitely not ready. <laughs> Whoa! Welcome to Tidal Fishing TV. Um, this week or this episode we're on the far south coast of New South Wales, well known estuary, fishing mainly for flatties. And we've already got quite a few, but we're also going to be going for some whiting and brim on live nippers, and that's what I'm doing today. So I'm just finding a nice little flat. You can see there's some nipper holes down there at the moment, but it's still a bit deep where I am. So I'm probably going to beach the kayak on a nice flat we're coming up to just here and have a wander around with the Debbie pump I've got here and hopefully we'll get a few live nippers which we can turn into some whiting and brim. So we've got quite a few in there already with only five minutes of pumping and it pays to come to the less pumped areas like I've come and beached my kayak on a sandbank that will soon be a sandbank so, so the idea is you just keep pumping you pull one up and if you do pull one up don't stop pumping because there's usually there's one there's usually more than one in a hole and so that's quite a nice size one so we've got quite a few so I'll you know only take what you need I'll probably take 20 or so and if I need more I'll come back there's one that's what you're looking for saltwater nippers Yabbies, whatever you want to call them. My chap, this one's got a tiny claw, but there's some, I'll show you one, some with claws that just like, they'll draw blood. And, you know, you gotta watch out for that. Whiting, nowhere in the eye, you probably just be there, you're a bit nah, not bother.
big fish, big fish. Big fish, very light line. Oh, big flatty, I think, guys. Oh, he's screaming. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. no. Big flatty. There he is. Oh, it's right down its mouth. Oh god, I don't like that at all. Come on, get in there. Alright, I think I'm gonna get in that shot here. Am I? Oh no 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 no. Oh, oh. He might be 70. He might be just 70. But on four pound leader. Four pound leader. I was I had a I had a good take from a brim, right? And I just paddled over like trolling along. I had a good brim on, I lost him, so I started trolling a little atomic deep diver. And all of a sudden this fish just takes off. Like it took about 30 meters in the first run. <laughs> Look at that fellas. That's the result. Oh, how did I not? How did I not lose this fish? Seventy-two. Oh, three open lines. Mate, on, we've done that. Two big flatties in twenty-four hours. That's right. Yeah. Is it? Is the GoPro flashing? Um. Okay. On the top. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> got it all on camera. Come on, let's let him go. Where can you buy one more? Got it. Got it. It came up. Through. Oh, you can get this anywhere. It's an atomic. Oh, I can't remember the exact name of the lure. Atomic deep diver of some sort. I have to get this out. Right, there we go. Got this nice 80 centimeter flatty on a Z-Man three-inch minnows on three to six gear. So I was going for big flatty. So thought it was a ray at first, by the way, because it didn't really fight that hard. But turns out, what a flatty! So, you know, that's our second fish over 70 today. And in two days, we've landed a 70 centimeter, 72 centimeter, and now this 80. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now she's kicking a lot. I'm just going to open the grippers. There she goes, straight down to the bottom. New PB flathead. 80 centimetres. Yeah. Third flatty at 70 for the day. Nice fish. 